Well, like he says, all things work together for good. Amen. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great example. I can only tell you, in, uh, uh, as God was stirring our heart to go to Joplin, we were broke. And, you know, we think, well, we don't got no money. You know, God, it, it costs to go places. Now, you guys know that, right? And, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's really strange because God didn't say you need money. He said you need to go. You know, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, just like he told Peter. You know, Peter, go cast out your net. And Peter says, I'm the fisherman, you're the preacher. I'll fish, you stick to preaching. You see, we, we have a tendency to instruct God. But I love the fact that God will take our hearts and he will push us forward. And guys, I just want to tell you a small thing that I watched is that there was thousands of churches in Joplin. Thousands of different denominations. But it's amazing how we all ended up together in one mind and one accord. And that's one of the things that I can say God works together for the good. As if He can bring us together. And I loved it because we met every day at a church and did devotions. We did, you know, time of debriefing. And we took with us 18 Bible college students and 18 of us from the church. And we went. And, you know, I'll tell you what, we had a blast. So I'm going to have uh, them go ahead and maybe we can turn off the front lights because it may be a little hard to see. Um, but... Uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to kind of watch. My wife put this together. It's a real blessing. I thought she was going to come up with me. But uh, um, uh, anyhow, she put this together. So, you know, and I thank God because I put things together. And you know what I mean? <laughs> we won't go there. But anyways, go ahead and start it. And what I'll do is kind of, uh, should I go to this mic over here to kind of talk through it? Or how do I do that? That's Is that right there? Can I see? Yeah. Anyhow, this is, this is us getting started. Um, and this is us over at Calvary Chapel in Mojave. Uh, they bought us a bunch of pizza. We're doing a devotion. And, uh, and we continue to take off from there. There's the, the vans that we went in. There's one of them. We had the other ones. You can see the guys are already getting a little bit of rest. Um, and then, uh, oh, here's our trailer, guys. Wait till you see this. Um, you know, all things work together for the good. We got to minister. Our trailer wheel flew off. Um, you see the fire truck, tow truck, you'll see better shots here. Uh, here's the group sitting on the side of the road. You know, we, we decided it's probably best to worship. So we're creating a thing to take everything out. There's guys carrying. The fire department goes, you guys can't move that off the freeway like that. You know, and, and we said, I'm not paying no $200 for a tow truck. So we, we got it off the side of the freeway. You know, we got to pray with the fire department. You know, we're all looking at our baggage here. Um, not a person was in the flesh. Believe it or not. Um, here we are. Look, we're rejoicing. Look, I mean, can you do this in, in California? You know, I mean, here we are doing worship. You know, the cops are going, I've never seen a group like this in my life. Well, here's Joplin. The cross still stands. That was a church. Um, you'll see some photos here of, of just different settings. We were at Calvary Chapel, Joplin. Uh, we stayed there. They let us stay in the church. There's part of the group there. Um, and you'll just continue to see different people here. Uh, there's actually the two pastors of the church. There's a guy's sister that goes to the Bible college that I met out there. Hey, look at, look at, there's Danny. Does it really look like him, guys? Billy. Billy. And then, and then we tried to swim to this waterfall. He made it. Three of them almost, almost died. Um, and there's, there's some of the disaster there, guys. Um, it was real bad. Real, real bad. I've never seen anything like it. It just walked, wiped out a whole city. So as you're looking at these, I wanted, that's, that's a place called Tent City. Um, they just, a bunch of people, we built the bathrooms there, uh, showers, toilets. It was, and there's, there's part of the debris that people bring and kind of try to live together. Um, we were praying over some little kids there and sharing the gospel. There's uh, Rick over there playing with the kids. Um, then we were mowing and kind of keep the place up. And uh, then somebody decided to take us all to dinner, which I think that was a mistake, about $900. Um, but uh, all you can eat, by the way. Uh, and, uh, and then here we are. We're helping with the Salvation Army, which was a real blessing. Um, they sent us out. They trust us with those vans. Can you believe it? <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Man. We felt like we were paramedics on the move. But uh, there we are helping out there. They're praying. The wife there praying with a the lady. 
Um, look at the game of songs, man. You can write those on the street. When can you ever do that? You know, so we took we went around and gave waters to the people that were working. Um, you know, it, it just, there was so much. There's the wife. She got to sit in the driver's seat. And there's the lady that was through the Holocaust. We got to, uh, to well, whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? And she was on the other side, though. And then uh, doing worship under the tents there. There's some more disaster. It continues. There was so much. Um, I'll tell you as you're looking at it, but in uncovering, uh, there was a six-year-old little girl with a puppy in her hands, dead, underneath some wood. And uh, guys, it, it just kept going. And there was a burly big guy, like some of you guys over here, uh, that, that was the only one that pulled over to the side of the street, jumped out of the car, we're doing some baptisms, but jumped out of the car and pulled out ten people out of the piles. And uh, one of the little boys just said, my foot's caught, my foot's caught. And uh, he didn't realize, as he was saying his foot's caught, he was actually bleeding to death. And he ended up passing. So, but, uh, and then we did a bunch of baptisms, which was really, really cool. Um, I'll tell you what, it's hot there. The humidity, you, you, you stay soaked all day. See my shirt? That's not from the water. Um, but, uh. Anyhow, just we, we did worship every night. We did debriefing, devotions every morning. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what, it, it was definitely a mission trip. You're going to see a, a couple other pictures here. Uh, they had a huge warehouse. I could not believe the people that were coming together to help. I'll tell you, when, when a disaster happens, you know, it, it, it's really neat to see people come together. But I can tell you this, there's a disaster in your own backyard. And you know, I would have never went on this trip if I haven't dealt with my own neighborhood, my own backyard. So I want to encourage you guys, before you go all the way across the world, you know, we have our own disasters. So, you know, God does want us to deal with home too. So, um, I think we're just about done. There's the group from the home. And uh, look at there. I, he wouldn't let go of that. He slept with it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, there's the kitchen crew. You guys can see Danny in there. And uh, here we are trying to think of what we're going to do next. But that's the whole area that you see the outline there. That whole part of the city was just wiped out. Then they had the, the police officers there, which we took some time. We did some roofing jobs. Then we'd come over to this place here and sit with the officers and pray and encourage them. There was a lot of looting. I got to do some legal looting. I want you guys to know when they were done, they said, hey, go ahead, whatever's left, you guys are more than welcome. I mean, uh, we help people get their stuff out of their storages, and they said, we don't want the rest. You know, so we did help other people with the stuff. It wasn't illegal. Don't take it the wrong way. But that's neighborhoods, too. He don't have that beard no more. Where is he? <laughs> but anyways, guys, you can see the disaster. And I just want to encourage you, keep them in your prayers. Um, and if any of you'd like to go, we're going to put together another team with the church. And we want to go. I just I feel led to send a team, go with a team. But you know what? They need help. And they need to see the love of Christ. There's the hospital, as you can see. At that move, I believe it was four, four feet? Four feet off its foundation. The whole hospital. There's another a group of us in front of a house there. So... And that lady right there, they, she found her, her grandma in the bushes. And it was really sad because that's all she wanted to do was find the wedding ring. So we helped dig through all the stuff to try to find a wedding ring. We didn't find it. But uh, um, you can see the house there. That's the foundation. I mean, we're talking 12 feet over. There's you know some of the trees. I think you'll see me standing next to one of the trees. Those trees were ripped out of the ground. Just thrown. Incredible. Yeah, people, uh, people were just everywhere. Uh, what's really neat, guys, is we were able to take three men to the house of Luke from Joplin that had no hope. And that blessed me that we were able to do that. And the guys are doing awesome. So pray for them.
Yeah, you should have seen the boats wrapped around trees. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Anyways, I'm going to go sit down, you guys. Just keep them in your prayers. Thank you.